Oh god. Yeah! We're gonna be doing a little something different today. We're gonna be drawing your action poses from your videos using one shape in five seconds. I'm talking about drawing the body in any angle using this one shape. Draw with a box. I bet you you heard that before, haven't you? That's disgusting. Hate to break it to you, but you've been told to draw with the devil's tools. I bet you you've been trying to draw with the box this whole time and it's not done you no good. All right, with this shape, now you can create the most simple third dimension. Before it's just a simple silhouette. Now it's got volume to it and it's organic. Can you draw a body with the box? Yes, but you're an individual. That might not be the best, easiest way for you to do it. That's what we're finding out. What's best for you? All right, here's the rules of the game. I look through your action videos and see if I can draw your pose in five seconds with one shape. Whichever one of you has the best video reference pose is gonna win $2,000 or an autograph from me. It's up to you. I'll DM you afterwards and you can make the decision. All right, if I were you, I'd go for the 2K, but we'll see. Okay. Are you seriously running around with the knife? Are you running around with a knife? Swinging that sucker around, do you know how dangerous it is? Do you even understand? I do not ever want to see any of you with a knife. I would not ask any of you to do anything that I wouldn't do, okay? Don't smoke. One, two, three, go. Five, four, three, two, one. So this knee's supposed to be coming up this way following that. So that's something I already did wrong. All right, let's move that sucker back. All right, we got this shape right here. Let's pay attention to how it's being broken down the middle. And here's something else. If you look at how I broke down these hips, I did two of them. Why is that? Let's check it out. All right, you got a hip there. You got a hip there. All right, and now what happens when we erase these and connect these lines? Now it's a triangle, but put into 3D form like a rice ball. Now if we do the same thing and do that to her torso in a similar fashion, after you got those major forms down, then you come in and add all the details and stuff. Hey, it's a half cake, but it works. How are we gonna be doing this? Well, it's really simple. We break it down into three steps. Torso, hips, head, make that bread. All right. All right, let's see if I can do it in five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. So the point of doing it really fast is just to get down that initial movement of the body. All right, if you see here, you take this head and you flip it. All right, I flipped the head and stretched it out. It's essentially this shape right there. It's a counterbalance. Torso is counterbalancing the head and the hips are counterbalancing the torso. All right, and you can't get that with a box. 10, nine, two, one. Do you see what I'm saying? Get that box out of here. Fish gourd, boom, here's some fish for you. One of the artists that I've seen on this channel that has grown the fastest is definitely fish. Good reference shot, nice action in there. Breaking it down with the straights, little bit of curves. Yeah, look at all these straights. The whole thing is just made up of straight lines. Nice, nice clear shot. Dang, fish got fish's style, man. Fish got some crazy looking cool hands, nice structure in the hands and the jacket and the face. Let me tell you something too, fish got good fast. Oh my God, is that me? Jesus, am I jumping off a building? Am I wearing shorts? What the? Don't you ever draw me with shorts. If I'm gonna jump off a building, it's gonna be in style. <laughs> Get that out of here. Oh my God. Boom. This is dedication. Have you ever rolled around on the floor for reference? Jumped in for a roll, picked up a shotgun and even shot it. By the way, you don't have to shoot it for the reference, but you did anyway. And you know what? You're probably better for it. Look at this reference. You did, you got it, you nailed it. You know what else you're doing? You're using a lot of straight lines right here. All right, that's good for structure. Keep that up. Whack him. Get him wise down. You see? You let you tired yourself out. Nice stuff from Holographic. Torso, hips, head. Here we go. 10, 9, 2, 1, uh, boom. All right, let's see if we can make this one work. All right, we're splitting this down the center. All right, this is an anchor point right here on his hip. And it's a little bit difficult to actually see the pose because, well, for one, you're not naked. All right, so next time you do this, just get naked. Every time I go into these reference challenges and I look through your submissions, I can see you progressing and getting better. All right, good example of this is Bardo Bot. Look at this sucker. Boom, nice and clear shapes, very clear angle changes. From this structure, you can add any style that you want on top of that. Ghost in the bed. Oh, ghost in the bed. Spooky. 
Nice, you already did the breakdowns for these. I'm not gonna break it down. That's looking good. What the heck is that? Is that a box? All right, try to think of it like this. Instead of one whole hip, one whole section, instead of trying to break that down in, as a box, you wanna break that section down as two different triangles. You can do that for chest. You can do that for rib cages. You can do that for back muscles. License full. Very creative. I like this one. Down shot, that's cool. No, it's it's good. Good. It's right here. Oh, All right, that was kind of rude. I am a muffin. Very uh, interesting pose here. I don't think I would have chosen this shot though. The half of the battle is for creating good reference is to find the perfect shot. All right, I'm gonna grab this shot and pull your legs back a little bit so you're in more of a uh, action fighting stance. All right, I'm drawing this guy. Let's go. 10, 9, 2, 1. All right, not looking that good. Let's see what I, let's see what happened. All right, look at this right here. I've got an angle right here, but if you look at the reference, that sucker's a straight line. All right, let's try to keep to that. Let's see where these knees sit. If we do a swoopy line here, I'm gonna sit right about there. All right, what happens if you do the reference and it just doesn't feel like it's full of action? What I do all the time is after I'm done with the pose, bend the knees, raise the shoulders duck the head and whenever you're in a fighting uh, position this is what you do naturally you get down you squat and your shoulders bunch up and it just looks more real it looks more actiony so we're gonna drop his head right here i'm gonna raise these shoulders all right if i want to make it even more actiony i take that body and i bend it give him that crouch boom now he's ready look at him hop, hop. There you go. It's really that simple. Who the heck is gonna win that $2,000 or autograph from me? Well, let's find out, all right? Oh, God. Look, guys, I wanna do another video reference challenge, and I want you to go all out with the videos and go crazy, but I want you to be safe doing it. I want you to throw each other around and almost get hurt, but don't get hurt, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, in all seriousness, please do not do things that will get you hurt. God, some of this photo reference is too blurry to, to break down. Like right here, I see that you're having trouble with the knee and the structure in this area. The only re reason I know how this works is because I've studied the, the body a lot and done a lot of uh, drawing, figure studies. But we do have hints of where things go with this structure right here of your clothes. We know the hips are going this way. Anyway, e easier said than done. Try to make sure your reference shots are well lit. Oh my God. <laughs> What are you? <laughs> oh yeah. The pose matches the character. I like it. All right, nothing to break down there. It's, that was just, that was just, uh, that was beautiful. Live your best life. Keep doing what you're doing. Don't let anybody tell you to do anything different. Did you just kick a stick? Don't you ever kick a stick. Don't you ever kick a straight line. Don't you ever kick a stick. Even slight triangle fam in there. If you're gonna be messing up something, you better be messing up a box. Disgraceful. Get out of here, squinty draws. When you come back, you better come back hard. I'll be looking for you. Oh my God. Oh, I'm so excited to see this video. Look at his face at the end like, <laughs> He's like, he's like, Jesus Christ, bro. I didn't think we were taking it that seriously. Wow, you actually look like you know what you're doing, man. That's pretty dope. This is an interesting thing, actually. Whenever you know what you're doing in a photo reference, whenever you know how to act properly, it's gonna come out through the drawing. For one, when you make the drawing, you're gonna know what to emphasize. Like, oh no, this hand should be like this because, you know, yada, yada, yada. So a lot of it comes down to actually researching the stuff that you're trying to draw. Boom, we got a winner. That's Butterbeard34, McDonald's killing a burglar. I'm gonna slide into your DMs and you're gonna give me your social security number and then you're going to decide whether or not that you want $3,000 or a free autograph from me. I would choose the 3K, but we'll see. Oh, you're gonna hit your head on that fan. You know how I know, cause I've done it. Oh, is that Gatorade? Get that out of here. Oh, kill yo yo yo. Lots of natural movement in there, I like it. 10, nine, two. Hey, that's all it takes. Look, I already got the pose down. All right, we know the other shoulder sitting back here. First shoulder sitting right about there. All right, this clothes right here, giving us hints of how the torso is falling. Take a look at that. All right, let's see. And also the the uh, the thigh. The clothes are also giving us a hint of where the how the thigh is being closed off. You know what else? You can even use this shape for the shape of the hair. All of this hair is converging at a point. That is also why this shape works so well with muscles and with the body, because everything in the body has a purpose. Everything is originating from one point. 
And you know what? After you make the shape, look at this. You can cut into this sucker and then you just cut those suckers out. Look, now you got hair. And then you can add little dillies out, out sticking out from it. Boom, drew that sucker in 10 seconds, no problem. T-Clock works. All right, you're saying due to your physical disability, you don't have a super accurate representation of posture. You don't really have the typical type of hands you'd normally see, but you got shoulders and you got knees and you got hips. And the way that you're using them is accurate. The way that your elbows are coming up, the way that your shoulders are hunched, the way that your knees are bent. All right, and what you're doing here in this one, this right here is what you're supposed to be doing. You're using these straight lines to find the uh, structure. All right, you actually already have a lot of structure in these suckers. This front pose is super dynamic. Let's take a look at that one. 10, nine, three, two, this right here, when the hips converge into the torso, you're gonna have a clear overlap. I wanna tell what's in front of what. All right, you got that little booty there, and we're gonna go back this way. Like I said before, you wanna make something more action dynamic. You hunch those shoulders, you bring those forearms up to the face. Just to get an idea of what really good solid poses can do, the details do not matter. If the pose is authentic, it can look like this. Check this out from Snowmation. Triangles, baby, straight lines, very minimalistic. We know where the body sits in space. That's why it works. Boom, there you have it. One shape, one second. Now the winner is Buttered Beard 64 All right, I don't know why this person chose to get my autograph. Yet again, we got another Butter Beard asking for an autograph instead of $2,000. It's your, it's your life though, it's your choice, and that's up to you. So good job, Butter Beard. I knew you could do it. This is Ethan Becker coming at you. <laughs> I want you to participate in the new reference challenge. This one is a pure video reference challenge. You can choose to do art for it, but you don't have to. What I'm really looking for is some creative videos that I can review and break down poses and all that kind of good stuff. And I have to admit the most fun that I've had is reviewing the videos that you guys send in. It's It, it cracks me up and I have a blast doing it. So I wanna do more of that. So how do you submit? I'm gonna show you right now. You're gonna post your video to your Instagram. You're gonna head over to my Instagram. Check out my latest post. It's gonna be something about the video challenge. Leave a comment letting me know that you participated in the challenge. Also, here's the thing. You follow the link below to my Discord. All right, you're gonna scroll to the bottom, go to the art tab you're gonna hit the monthly video challenge click on that sucker submit your stuff have fun and read the rules all right i want you to also submit your videos there and uh, link your social media and all that good stuff all right this is much easier for me to process the videos but you got to submit through instagram and discord you got to check out the discord family the community over there i made the discord channel and it literally like grew legs and just ran all right guys i got a video coming out tomorrow and i'm announcing this discord for the first time what do you got to say about the discord talk uh oh. sorry i'm an introvert this place is freaking uh awesome. I just woke up. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> you should join. It's a great Discord. There's a lot of motivational forces going on around here. <laughs> and if you run out of reference, I can be your reference. We have a feet emote. <laughs> you probably shouldn't join if you're not into feet. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. This is great. Boom, Squidward dab. Draw I think the cooler something. things is watching uh, other people uh, do like the art challenges and stuff though. Um, yeah. Really. Yeah, that's very fun. The okay, online school. community where little babies become big men. <laughs> uh, be humble and find uh, quality criticism here. We provide a baby free <laughs> environment. <laughs> <laughs> it's a baby free environment. Men only. <laughs> I love seeing creative and funny videos, and that's what I want to see more of. Go to the Discord, read the rules, and see if it's something that you want to do. All right, and uh, and look. I love you. All right. Okay, come on. Go.